Hi, welcome back. We did our first video on RT5 and tested it already. So now we dig into the pro version. So we start with the tutorial we did before. So this is the project. And let's start editing it. Okay, so easily to do, we just click on the 3D Pro button to get into the Pro version. Okay, there we are. With mouse click and moving, you can actually move within the, the 3D space. And here we have our tools that we can actually move the layers, rotate the layers and scale the layers. This is our target image and there we added our video and it's positioned in 3D space now. Well, I have to re reload the, the video so that you can see it one second. One quick second. Okay. Okay, there it is. Um, here you can have a preview. There you see, this is our video. Let's stop, stop that. Okay, so now we want to add a second video and maybe a PNG so that it makes some more 3D space to our to our project, to our artwork. Important is that it's an MP4. And if you want to have transparency, I show you quickly how to do this. Let's go to After Effects because I did the project in After Effects. Okay, um, this is going to be our video what I will uh, use for, for the free version. And as you can see, it has this greenish background. And why it is that? Because in RT5 Bridge, when you add a video, it's here. You can add actually transparency as well. So this is um, quite easy. You have a, a sequence, a composition, and you add a background to it, which is, um, let's see, which is 255 uh, green and the rest is zero. And you have to check that also your composition above it, it has no green in it. Okay, that's important. So I rendered it out already. So what I want to do now is um, to add a video. This is what I did, it's here. This is the empty layer. And I will select now my video. And I do, took this one. So this is our video with our green spot and also sound. So you can also add sound if you want to. I did. We open that. And it takes some time. And as you see, it's exactly on the position where the other video is. So I will drag it a little bit front. So we click on transparent. Uh, as you see, it makes regularly this kind of uh, color mode. RGB mode, so it's 255 green and the rest is zero. Here you have the threshold, which is quite important. So you see that it has some 80%. It's actually cool, but I put it a little bit higher. And now we try do it again. Okay, I have to I have to scale it, so I scaled to the number of two, so it's a little bit bigger, as you see. There you are. Still too big. <laughs> so we put it to 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. Yeah, this is nice. So it's actually on it. And the interesting part is, um, well, now you don't see the preview because the, the image at the first frame is transparent, so you don't see it here in Bridge only if you press the preview. But as you can see, it's actually the same size. So that is quite nice. But the video at itself is a little bit bigger. So you can play with the scaling and positioning it also maybe uh, this way, you know. And now I want to add as well a simple image. You can use PNG image with transparency, which is quite nice because then you have also this depth uh, in your composition. So let's do this. So I add it here and it will position always on the on the uh, end of the of the viewport. So you have to scroll down so that you see the layer, which is the new layer. So okay. So I select our image, what you want to use for our composition. 
this one, which is quite simple. This is a part of the painting, so make it a little bit more depth. That's what you do. Okay, where is it? You see it's exactly here. And we want to scale it up a bit. Yeah, with the commas you have to use really a comma and not a dot. That's important. Okay, um, yes, so I will position it now like here. So that's it. And let's test it again, no? Oh, I love this tool. Well, I used the first frame to be empty. That makes it a little bit hard to use it in 3D space, but uh, I like the approach that is actually popping up. So maybe you have other ideas. You can also scale it from one point to out to, to the whole screen. So it makes a kind of depth that it comes from the middle out, or you can position it in, in, in different angles. So it's really free to use and you have maximum three videos and six images. I'm happy with this composition. I think it's good for, for the second part and for the second tutorial that you see kind of the idea of what you can do. And yeah, that's actually it. Uh, don't forget to put your infos in. I did already. Uh, we'll tell now this is second tutorial. And this is also the second tutorial. So yeah. Um, I hope you have fun. I will save that now. And yeah, I hope you try it out and get more projects and get into Artivive as I do. I really love this tool. I use it for like a lot of projects I, I'm, I'm starting now. And I hope you have fun. And uh, if you have any questions, you can follow me on Patreon. And I uh, wish you uh, a nice approach to it. Bye.